Well, it's a beautiful and quite warm day for a wild goose chase. Although it's not goose that I'm after, it's a caterpillar. A rather large one and an extremely rare one, especially in Nottinghamshire, because from somewhere in the Balkett farm area, along one of its numerous farm tracks, was reported and photographed a convolvulus hawk moth larva. Now it was a prepupating larva, so it was found wandering one of a number of lanes. There's several possible lanes that it could be. The only information I've got is that it's near Balkett Farm, which is just over there, and that there was a lot of bindweed in the vicinity. There's none here, so I'm not in the right place yet, but where do I go to find it? Well, this might help me narrow it down much junction of three paths or three farm lanes actually these are private lanes not accessible by the public two of these are closed this one here and one directly behind me which leaves the only direction i can go in the one on the right Let's hope it does narrow it down a bit. It's still a rather forlorn task though. Where do you go looking for one lava or maybe two or three in all this lot? Well, that's the only lane that's technically accessible. I'm presuming that the person that sent us a photograph and reported the convolvulus hot moth lava wouldn't have gone where they were told not to go. So. This is the only available direction. So let's try down here. Well, at times, I must admit I can't believe how lucky I am. Although there has to be a degree of skill and field craft about it, but Look what I found. To me, this is probably better than finding the adult moth. I don't offhand know of any records of convolvulus hawk moth larva in Nottinghamshire. I dare say there must have been records over time, but I can't believe I've found one. And presume that this is the area where one was found just a couple of days ago one that was actually wandering around looking for a pupation site this one can't be far off and here's where it is the lava is just on the right or towards the right of the screen you may well be able to see it just starting to eat a leaf but it's just down this simple farm track probably about halfway between Balkett Farm and the River Trent. There's not that much in the way of buying weed. There's a lot here where I am and where this lava is and I'm going to see if I can find any further lava in a minute. But as I've walked down, it is a good few hundred yards, I've only seen one other area of buying weed, but that was growing around a ditch. But the bindweed here, as you can see, is not only growing outwards along the ground in amongst the grass, but is also growing up this hedgerow here. And the lava is about four feet off the ground. I can't believe that I found one. What a find. I just, well, I'm just so appreciative someone took the time to contact me via this channel to inform me 
of the sighting of a couple of days ago sighting of one of these super caterpillars the female must have laid several eggs probably over a period of a couple of days I don't know but the slim chance of finding one of these proved not to be so slim after all I've been searching for about half an hour or so and eventually found this stunning large and very rare caterpillar I wonder how many people have walked past this and presumably several others as well that were probably deposited here as eggs by a female earlier in the year there was a few turned up but spring convolvulus hot moss in Nottinghamshire aren't ten a penny and to be honest I can't recall a single record offhand that is normally coming sort of August, September, October but there's a good influx of them at the moment which is the moment being early September and there's been several Nottinghamshire records that I'm aware of what a find and it's all thanks, the reason I'm here is all thanks to somebody contacting me to say that one of these had been found here a couple of days ago, it would be the 5th of September they gave me a rough area of where to look I know it was near Borkut Farm on a track and it's just a case of putting in the yardage and looking for the right place and then just dropping in extremely lucky so then a wild convolvulus hawk moth larva in sunny Nottinghamshire sunny breezy Nottinghamshire Bulkert to be exact who'd have thought it eh two or three days ago I wouldn't have thought it I never expected it say so convolvulus hawk moths arriving in Nottinghamshire and inland in spring are rare it has to be a really good invasion year anyway but I'm not aware of any convolvulus hawk moss being reported a couple of months ago or probably only a month ago these grow at a very fast rate so even allowing for conditions outside this is probably laid as an egg a fortnight ago So, thinking about that, it wouldn't have been a moth from spring after all. This would have been a migrant arriving in Nottinghamshire, probably about the middle of August. What a thing! What a privilege to come out, have a look for these or one of these and find it.